code designing for people you didn't know existed. Okay, that's fine. So you probably know by now that you are not the user. Even if you design a product that you are sometimes the user of, we're all web people, we know too much. We're not a typical user. So how do you design for people that you might not know existed? Well, let's look at some examples. This is an app um, which tells you your nutrient goals and it asks for your gender. But what it really wants to know is my biological sex because that's what determines how my body processes different nutrients and chemicals. Gender is a social construct, so it's not really asking the right thing here. Now, that may seem very nuanced, but if you think about transgender people, they get these forms every single day on the web and have to force to make a choice of what they enter. Uh, similarly with this, what is your gender, male or female? There are generally two, more than two genders. And do you really need to ask for gender on your form? If you are a website that is selling products and you ask for my gender and I'm buying a present, what does that actually give you? It doesn't give you much information. Also, this iconography is just horrible. Don't use that. <laughs> uh, so I usually would recommend op uh, offering an other or a refused option, which this website does. Uh, add another option, on or off. Let's just hover over that tooltip. Allow the user to write his gender. <laughs> <laughs> so close, not quite. So again, these are just little things, but they really grind on people day in, day out. People have families that are different from yours. So this is a form that asks for my father's name and my mother's name. Both are mandatory. Uh, I may have two mothers. I may not know my father. This is the reason that I am my, <laughs> my niece's godfather, because the Catholic Church doesn't really have nice forms for two women, so I'm the godfather, which is kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> People have relationships that are different than yours. This was the 2010 e-tax. You've indicated that your spouse is the same sex as you. Is this correct? Now, again, you may say, well, that's not, tip you know, it's not, uh, I don't want to say typical, but statistically it's not the norm. But still, I've filled out this form and you're just asking, again, when you're already so downtrodden by society, this is great. Uh, they actually have removed this now. <laughs> now, again, I don't necessarily want to be in a relationship with my cousin, but this isn't illegal in many parts of the world and Facebook doesn't allow it. Facebook also doesn't allow more than one relationship, and obviously there are people in polyamorous relationships, so you need to pick which one's your Facebook official partner, which can lead to some... <laughs> which Again, they've removed this, um, which I know because I tried to get a newer screenshot by putting that I was in a relationship with my uncle, expecting it to give me this, and it didn't, <laughs> and we haven't spoken since. <laughs> <laughs> which is actually true. Um, women can be doctors. Uh, I'm working towards my PhD and I'm going to be a doctor, uh, but I can't necessarily fill out this form unless doctor and missus is the right answer, but I don't think it is in this form. Again, form validation. Sorry, really bad. You've entered a title of doctor for a customer that's female. Is this correct? Yes, it is. <laughs> Exactly. So someone sat down and wrote this line of code. <laughs> this is uh, Dr. Selby, and her gym card knew her title, but they didn't ask for gender or sex. And she tried to scan into the female change rooms, and it wouldn't let her because she was a doctor. So again, someone has sat down and written a code, if title equals doctor, don't let them into the female change room. Uh, when contacted for comment, the gym said, unfortunately, we found a bug in our membership management system. It's not a bug, it's a line of code that someone wrote. Uh, single people are people too. Uh, this is a form for a holiday. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mrs. Family. I saw this and I went, mm, no, nah, I'm going to buy with someone else. So this stuff can lose you business. And this is my mortgage paper. The 
purchaser further acknowledges that he, blah, 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 blah. Now, I bought my house in 2015, not 1915. I didn't need my father to co-sign for me anymore, but we still got gendered language in the form. I don't even have anything to say to this one. <laughs> I did have Facebook. <laughs> you know how Facebook does the automatic face detection? There was someone in the background of one of my photos that was of Asian appearance, and I was like, is this Josie Long? And I'm like, really, Facebook? Come on. <laughs> so, yeah, that happens a lot, right? Uh, people wear things that you don't. So... Uh, this was an app that we designed to help with vitamin D uh, and tell you uh, if, like, if you could safely get vitamin D for this day. So we needed to know what you were wearing, and obviously if you wear a burqa or a hijab, you have a lot more skin covered, and that affects your vitamin D calculation. I can honestly say I probably wouldn't have thought of that if it wasn't for vitamin D. Uh, when you see avatar designs in games or even just in other apps, you often don't see these kind of options for customization. And if the idea of an avatar is to make you have affinity with the design and with the program, you need to allow them to be customized in terms of skin color, what they're wearing, height, weight, and that kind of thing, uh, which we often don't do. This is Facebook. Uh, I have a friend whose surname is I, and it's not allowed by Facebook, so he had to put in a fake name, which is also against their real name policy. So you can't really win with that one. Joe's also a name. Like, I can't, tell us your name. It must be at least four characters long. <laughs> I can't believe that anyone in this organization didn't know a Ben, a Joe, a Bob, a Pat. You have Tom. to know a <laughs> Tom. You, that's just, how does that get there? Uh, deaf people have a language, it's called Auslan. So this is a system where you're meant to showcase what languages you can speak. It's not a system preference, because uh, obviously Auslan doesn't make sense for that. It's not a language that would be translated. But I'm meant to be able to showcase, and it doesn't let me put in that I can speak sign language. I did try sign language too. That didn't work. <laughs> Twins exist. Uh, so one of these girls registered, got her learner's permit. The other girl couldn't, because her face already existed in the database. <laughs> Uh, Left-handed people exist. So when YouTube, one of their first apps, 10% of the videos were upside down. Because if I'm right-handed, I hold my phone like this to record. If I'm left-handed, holding my phone like that, I cover the camera. Turn my phone around, upside down video. About 5 to 10% of the population is left-handed. 5 to 10% of the videos were upside down. People have tattoos. Um, the Apple Watch didn't allow, well, it didn't work on people with really dark pigment or with tattoos, um, the, the heart rate sensor. And if you look at Apple's mostly Caucasian for, uh, workforce, they obviously didn't pick up on this when they tested it. Uh, the relatively new-ish Mikey readers, um, when you touch on, you completely cover the screen. So you can't see what's happening. The light around it turns from green to red, which you can't see if you have red, green color blindness. And it also beeps, but if you, have your, if you have a hearing impairment or your headphones in, which everyone does when they're using public transport, you can be standing there for a second not knowing what's happening, which really slows people down in peak hour. Uh, people get periods, mostly women. Uh, <laughs> Um, we're, women have been counting their cycles for uh, probably millennia. Little stars on calendars to tell you when it's coming or a fake name. Uh, and there are thousands of apps. Really? Yeah, like there are not many women because tech. But definitely women do that. Um, <laughs> but now, obviously, there are hundreds or thousands of apps that do this. And when an app is that popular, Apple usually develops it themselves. So the flashlight was really popular, so they added flashlights into the iOS. Calculators and that kind of thing that they didn't have built in. But when they built an app to see your whole health picture and all of your metrics that matter most about your health, they forgot to include periods, which is a barometer for the majority, for women's health in general. 
So a company where 22% of male ro uh, sorry, technical roles are filled by women forgot to include this. By iOS 9, they had remembered. People have breasts. Again, mostly women. Um, so this T-shirt is designed... <laughs> I said mostly. <laughs> Uh, this T-shirt is designed so that when you go to another country, you don't have to bother being polite and learning any words. You can just point to the icon. <laughs> but these icons become a bit awkward for me to point to. I would like some coffee. That's not going to work. And this is a huge problem with, like, hackathon T-shirts. Seriously. Every time there's a hackathon, our Hack5 at Seek was like a high five and the design, and I was like, no, that, no, that can't be there. <laughs> Let me point out the problem here. All right, so you probably knew most of these people existed. I've been a bit cheeky. Uh, and most of you hopefully aren't going to write an error message like this. It seems you are not a human. <laughs> So these examples show that design always happens. The opposite of uh, investing in design is not bad design. Sorry, is bad design. I can read. I shouldn't have had that bit. Uh, questions about whether design is necessary or affordable is beside the point. Design always happens. The opposite of good design is bad design, not no design. So what do you do uh, to avoid some of these situations? Well, flexibility is key. So this is Seek's old system where you could put in your job title. And yes, we are lacking full-time father there. But we did allow it to be entered. So while it didn't come up in the auto-suggest because it wasn't that popular in the database, we still allowed you to override it. So if they had have done this in the case of the language system, I could have entered Auslam. We've now updated it to be a bit more generic. Ask more questions. Facebook does gender really well. Um, you don't have to enter a gender. You can enter a custom gender, and then it asks you what pronoun you prefer. Remember that you are weird, which is Western, educated, industrialized, rich, and democratic. Most of us in the room are probably weird. Um, so this is a concept I read about recently in regards to science, specifically psychology. Um, science is performed by the weird on weird, on uh, university students that you can get for your studies. And then we take that to mean gospel. We assume that all humans think the same and we all have the same brains. Like this example that you've probably seen. Probably know these lines are the same size, even though they don't look like they are the same size. But they've found that people in other parts of the world and even Aboriginal tribes in Australia look at this and go, what do you mean they look different? They're clearly exactly the same length. They just don't see the world the way, we, the way we do. And us weird people only make up one out of eight people in the world. So I probably should have called this talk Discovering and Remembering to Design for People Outside of Your Umwelt, but that's not as clickbaity. And Umwelt is one of those awesome German words that doesn't have an English counterpart that means the world as experienced by a particular organism. So we need to stop and think about inclusive design. Do I know that people named Joe exist and I've just forgotten and that my design doesn't work for them? If you don't consciously stop and think and include these people, you will unconsciously exclude them. So get out there and meet different people. Learn about the people you didn't know existed. By meeting different people, um, you'll learn different things. So I didn't necessarily know that there are more than two genders and how sensitive gender could be until I met a transgender person. And then I was able to develop empathy for their struggles in design and become an advocate. When you know a same-sex couple, a doctor and doctor, uh, you notice when the designs wouldn't work for them. Building diverse and inclusive teams also means that you will pick up these things earlier and quicker. Pay attention to people on Twitter. I've been trying to avoid Twitter since, like, Trump. Um, <laughs> just in a hole. Uh, but you will learn a lot from, from Twitter. That full-time mum example was pointed out to us at Seek by someone on our, on our Twitter. You'll learn about all these issues you didn't know existed. Uh, when that Rule 34, which the PG version is if it exists, 
there's a subreddit on it. Uh, <laughs> so Google is your friend. I once worked at a company and we were making a system that wouldn't accept non-alpha characters. I'm like, you know, I'm going to Google this and I bet you there's someone who's changed his name to like .com. And there is. There's a man called .com, he's changed his name. Now, that is an outlier, but it's still a person, so people aren't outliers. <laughs> uh, you need to make sure to test your designs with different kinds of users, particularly people who are different from you uh, in terms of age, gender, race, ability, to reveal issues early. If YouTube had have tested their app with left-handed people, they would have picked up that issue before it went out to the general public. Remember that you are biased, we all are, unconsciously, some people consciously, uh, but I'm sure none of you. <laughs> and so check your assumptions and biases, and you'll be able to do this with diverse teams and with testing with real users. Your assumptions are the windows to the world. Scrub them off once in a while or the light won't come in. Thank you. Thank you.